Hi, my name is Bill, and welcome to the six-minute uh, update on the replacement of the Harpers Field uh, covered bridge. You see what's there right now, but we're going to give you a little uh, quick look at what used to be there. There's the um, Harpers Field wooden covered bridge uh, as it used to be, and now we're going back here and give you a look at the, the current situation. And they've uh, sort of roped off the uh, river, downriver, to keep you know people and boats to from coming up close but uh, this what they're doing now now that they got the uh, bridge itself removed is they're uh, trying to uh, uh, well here we're, we're looking at an excavator preparing a road to go out over those uh, concrete uh, stanchions in the river to allow uh, heavy construction equipment uh, to go out there and, and place well, first to remove the existing uh, supports, the uh, metal and concrete supports, uh, and then they're going to put in new forms and uh, uh, bring you know cement mixers or cement trucks out there and pour new, new uh, concrete uh, supports. At least that's the way they did it when uh, they put in the uh, eel dam uh, a couple years ago that you saw me shoot. These um, this, uh, bags that you see in front are like about one ton a piece they're filled with sand and uh, they're damming up this is the uh, uh, downstream part of the river and in they sort of lead up to what they call a coffer dam and that's this white uh, you know sort of bending uh, sections that you see that they're, they're joined together you, know, you can get several sections joined together to m make any configuration you want they have uh, input and output pumps. They're filled with water from the area where you're trying to dam off. Uh, and as you can see, they're called dam it dams. But um, they pl put them in place, and uh, you know they're held in place with with some co concrete uh, blocks. And uh, you know they they pump water in from the area where you're trying to keep dry and pump it out on the other side. And this is what they're going to use in order to remove water from this area. Where you see that there's a metal uh, supports and one large concrete support there right, that we're flying over. Uh, they added the metal ones after the Great Flood of uh, 1913. But these uh, uh, coffer dams are uh, handy. They're easily to easy to install. Now, at the, coming into view is a is a pump uh, with a hose running down into an area surrounded by rock and it's going to be another area where they're pumping water out from in order to bring the the water in the area where they're going to be working down to as low to, or as close to zero or dry as, as they can. We're seeing a couple of guys now working on uh, you know they call it chinking but they're filling the gaps in between these uh, bags of uh, sand um, you know to make sure that it's as watertight as, as possible and so the, the, they've got a supply of these uh, uh, sand filled bags and they're bringing them out to where these uh, large bags are and kind of zoom in here uh, on a two egg zoom and they're stuffing them in there and try to pack them in to make sure that uh, you know that the water stays on the other side of this area that they're trying to dry out it's going to take a uh, some while for some time for them to get this all uh, set and then they'll turn on the pumps and you know pump all the water out and look for for any places where it's coming in and, and plug those up as well but they have to do that before they uh, get in there and start ripping out the old uh, supports the both the metal ones and the concrete ones and uh, then they're going to put in new forms and Bring in the concrete trucks. It's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be a real project. As I said, they're not scheduled to have this done until uh, December of next year, 2023. So here we're we're just kind of back to normal uh, zoom, and we're kind of doing a nice slow pan around just to take in what's what's going on. And again, this is the south end of the bridge. We're looking, you know, dead south here, but uh, um, the uh, the work goes on. You can see the um, the uh, eel trap uh, section that's uh, uh, above the area where they're working at now and uh, that was put in about two, two or three years ago and I shot lots of video while they were 
working on that. That was a, a long-term project as well. And this is looking uh, upriver to the uh, east. And then as we turn around here, we'll see the, the north end of the bridge, which is still there, uh, at least temporarily. This is a, the steel section of the, of the bridge, which was added after the uh, uh, 1913 flood, which wiped out that section of land and, and the bridge along with it. So they had to add that back in 1913. That's all going to be replaced as well. Uh, I'm standing over there on the shoreline uh, watching my uh, uh, Galaxy Note 9 and uh, turning around here and getting ready to come back in and land. Hope you enjoyed the update. If you got any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, we'll continue to uh, follow this uh, construction. Thanks for watching.